And now on to what we promised you earlier. Have you ever imagined operating a desktop phone uh, that is wire connections for the internet or convention uh, uh, rather than conventional cables to telephone service providers? Well, this is probably meant for you, the GSM enabled desktop phone, which basically operates like your mobile handset. However, Jose Angigi of Wasp Africa Limited joins me now to elaborate on this cellular solution. Thank you so much, Jose, for your time. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate you. <laughs> now, we time. want you to begin, uh, probably just begin by telling us what uh, a GSM-enabled phone is. Uh, the GSM-enabled um, desktop phone is actually, um, it's more or less a mobile phone. Um, right. Uh, that has been integrated to, to perform the same features as your mobile phone but this time as a desktop. Right. And uh, some of the features probably with, uh, with, with the new device, we actually the first ones were having it in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, whereby uh, it's, 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 uh, it's probably a, so a solution to what uh, the, the norm is, the, the normal desktops. Uh, it's very convenient for small SMEs, mm -hmm. uh, for homes, and probably for people who want to integrate uh, different users into one, uh, to synchronize all that into one uh, device. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. you mentioned uh, you are the first guys to have it in Africa. Is it your creation? Uh, no, really, it's not. Uh, what happens? Uh, Wasp Africa is actually a PRSP, uh, one, one, one of the leading PRSPs in, uh, in Kenya. And what we do, we normally send a team on an annual basis to, uh, across the world to actually try and look for the technology, devices, cellular solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, the product itself is actually from uh, the Republic of Czech, uh, from a company uh, called uh, Jablocom, mm -hmm. whom we have partnered with. And uh, we're doing the entire distribution of the devices, mm -hmm. the GSM phones and the GSM cameras throughout Africa. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we, we're just taking, uh, we're taking those pictures for you so that you get to know how the uh, phone operates. And to you, Ozea, uh, what are its features? Uh, you probably, how does it compare uh, with the ideal mobile phone? And we have those pictures running on our screens now. Uh, what happens is, uh, one of the features uh, which is uh, really incredible is, uh, in particular, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's got the, the, the voice conference, whereby you can actually connect about mm -hmm. three to five people at the same time. A particular example is uh, uh, if you have salespeople probably, uh, and you want to communicate to all of them at the same time, mm -hmm. that this particular device has the feature to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it also has a query keyboard whereby you can actually type in your SMSs and send your SMSs across uh, to about 10 different phones at the same now, time. Maybe you just mentioned, uh, I can see uh, the pictures showing on our screens now, uh, uh, SIM card being inserted. Probably you just explain to us why it is different. Is it because of the SIM card or how is it different from the conventional desktop phones that we have today? Uh, thank you so much. Now, uh, in particular, the SIM card makes the whole di difference. Mm -hmm. And also the software that the, that the phone uses, the, the device uses, the software that it uses, uh, enables the phone to actually do, uh, to integrate with your PC, mm -hmm. with your tablet. Uh, it can actually integrate quite conveniently with your, um, with your Outlook, whereby it, you can use that same platform to communicate to a different number of people. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when you, the SIM card that you're seeing uh, being inserted is, um, is, is, is a feature that complements uh, what the device has. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, and uh, when you're talking about uh, how uh, convenient you believe it is, uh, how can businesses use it? And probably just mention to us, uh, should they consider it, what should they consider before acquiring one? Uh, the phone is actually, the device itself is quite cheap, it's not expensive. Uh, we are now retailing it at about 22,000 shillings. Uh, it comes with, uh, with 22,000 shillings. It, um, as I said, it's got all the features of uh, video conferencing. It's got the query keyboard whereby you can communicate uh, through SMSs and all that. And it's also got a panic button. It comes with a panic button whereby um, uh, the panic button, if you press it, the panic button is like a watch. You put mm -hmm. it on your wrist. Uh, if you press it, it communicates to the phone. Uh, and the phone is able to call three or, three or four of your friends mm -hmm. even in case there's a panic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very convenient for even in case you're, you're enrolled with one of the security companies. During panics, when you press it from your, from your phone, mm -hmm. the security company is probably also communicated to, mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, 
that there is uh, enhanced communication, I'd say. Wow. Yes. Now, if you're just joining us right now, we are talking about uh, the GSM Enable desktop phone, and we have been running those clips for you. We'll be running them shortly. However, Jose, we just want to know from you, uh, looking at an ideal phone, uh, the reason why mobile phones are very popular today is because of uh, the fact that you can move around with it, and uh, critically because you can also access internet through them. Uh, how can you work with the GSM desktop? Uh, can you access internet, for example? Uh, actually, you can. Um, the, the, the GSM uh, desktop uh, device can also be used as a modem because of the fact that it has a SIM card. Uh, you can connect it with your PC and you're good to go. And uh, the fact that you can use it as a modem, you can uh, connect easily to the internet. And the best part was, as well is um, if in case you're using internet uh, phones, eh, like mm -hmm. Skype, whatever, uh, the same device you can actually, it, 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 it's quite uh, convenient because you can talk from it. It's got a speakerphone. You can use it to talk, to call. Uh, so it integrates quite well with your PC, as I say. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? Because uh, uh, initially, just prior to this interview, I was speaking to a colleague who expressed concerns. Uh, don't you think uh, the technology is likely to face so much resistance if uh, they cannot access internet on it? And I hope you did clarify that. Can I use it? Or can someone use it in their car if they're driving around? Apparently, no, you, you actually can't do that. Uh, it, it's more of a desktop, as I say, it's more of a desktop phone. Uh, it probably will mm, uh, replace the normal analog phones, the ones that you probably have at your reception, because the device itself has a, a port where you can connect your, your, your analog phone. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, you actually have two devices then. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have two applications in one device. Mm -hmm. You have the GSM aspect, and you have the analog uh, aspect. Mm -hmm. So you're able to receive your call, spread them all through your different, um, uh, different extensions that you have uh, through the same device. It's got a small LCD uh, right in front. And uh, with that, you're able to integrate your PBX with, uh, with the desktop uh, uh, GSM phone. Mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges that you faced uh, as an organization uh, trying to push uh, uh, this idea forth to particular businesses uh, who I believe are your uh, targeted uh, customers? Uh, probably some of the challenges we've faced is uh, probably the network connectivity between different networks. You'll go to some areas whereby uh, when you spread the phone across the country, there's some places where you'll find uh, the network reliability is not the best. Mm -hmm. uh, but within the, uh, the cities, like probably Nairobi, Nakuru, Mombasa, wherever, uh, it works quite well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what are you saying? Uh, you can use the SIM card of your, your provider. It could be Safaricom, Airtel, Orange. It could be U-Mobile. As long as you have that uh, connection or that kind of reception within your area, then you can use it uh, to connect with the GSM desktop. Very correct. It's not, li it's not locked to any, pro in any particular GSM provider. You can use any SIM card. Uh, and uh, once you insert the SIM card with a little bit of credit, you're mm -hmm. good to go. Wow, thank you very much. Now, we've been talking to Jose Gigi, who is a director at uh, WASP Africa, talking to us about the GSM desktop, uh, comp uh, not computer, but uh, desktop phone, and really telling us about how it works. Probably just give us your uh, last remark in about uh, a minute or so. Uh, what is uh, your perception about uh, this kind of device uh, being new in the Kenyan market? Uh, where do you see it in a couple of months, say three months from now? Uh, probably, uh, I actually see demand overwhelming supply. That's, that's definite. Uh, because what happens is uh, we've tried to, uh, to, 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 to integrate and enhance communication by limiting the number of um, devices at your reception, limiting the number of uh, equipment that people have at the reception. With this device, you can bring in the analog, you can bring in the, the GSM aspect of it, and uh, it, it becomes quite compatible wow. to use it. Thank you very much. We appreciate you again for your time. Thank you so and much. And we hope to engage with you again soon on uh, other innovations. Now we've been talking to Jose and Gigi, uh, talking to us about uh, really what the GSM desktop uh, 
uh, phone is really uh, what it is about and like we did uh, note there the fact that you can use your sim card it could be uh, your safaricom sim card airtel sim card it could be orange uh, we, it could be your mobile depending on uh, which area or what reception you have accessible to you you can use that and get it uh, on use it how it also has a panic button where it automatically calls uh, people within your area, uh, the people that you have uh, subscribed to in case you're in danger. Now, that is just about it. In as far as the inside business interview is concerned, we appreciate you for your time. And that is business. Good afternoon. See you again tomorrow, same time, same station. Keep watching, K24.